Okay, let me make sure we're recording. Yes, we are. Okay, the last part of lecture one. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, so Neumann's principle. So this is um, a under really underappreciated bit of uh, um, bit of work, or I don't know. I guess. Uh, Everyone kind of understands it, but people don't always credit it as Neumann's principle. Um, but it looks at that there has to be a relationship between the symmetry of a crystal and the symmetry of the properties of that crystal. Right? I mean, intuitively, that makes sense. Uh, Neumann stated it formally and said that the, the symmetry elements of any crystal property must include the symmetry elements of the point group of that crystal okay which means that if you have a cubic crystal your um, properties cannot have a lower symmetry than the crystal they can have a higher symmetry uh, for example thermal expansion in cubic crystals is isotropic Right, which is an infinite symmetries, uh, but you cannot have, you can never have a lower symmetry. Uh, right, and it's important that these are the point group uh, symmetry elements, not, and they don't include any of the translation symmetry elements. Right. Okay, so uh, this is some reading uh, that I'm assigning. There'll be some other reading. Uh, up that won't be required but would be uh, um, considered helpful but this is going to be uh, uh, a signed reading uh, atomistic properties of solids chapter 7 so look for that up on canvas okay and um, applying uh, Neumann's principle uh, so I'm going to ask, we're going to, we're going to do these two exercises in class as well. Again, it's, it's a lot of, it's a lot of writing, so we'll do it together. Um, I think it'll be a little better than you just watching it. Uh, be a little less boring. Uh, and again, for those of you in the distance learning part, uh, the in-class exercises will be captured for you. Uh, so don't feel that you're don't don't be afraid that you're going to be missing out on something uh, um, because uh, it will be recorded. You will be uh, able to uh, to to do it along with the the rest of the group. Okay. Uh, have a good week, and we'll see you next time.